This spring the U.S. Air Force staged a small number of F-22 stealth fighters to an outlying airfield in Alaska. Now the service has sent F-16 fighters even farther afield, to a dangerous little base right next to Russia. As part of a so-called agile combat employment exercise, the F-22s from Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson in Anchorage, the Pentagon's main Alaska base, flew out of King Salmon Airport on a temporary basis back in May. The exercise was rehearsal for full-scale war with Russia. The Air Force anticipates that, in wartime, the Russians might attack the service's big bases with ballistic and cruise missiles, by spreading out its warplanes across a larger number of smaller airstrips, the flying branch might ensure at least some planes survive the bombardment, and can fight back. King Salmon, lying just 300 miles southwest of Elmendorf Richardson, represents an easy test of this dispersal strategy. The Air Force recently stepped up its agile combat employment practice when it sent at least two F-16s from the 18th Aggressor Squadron, based at Eelson Air Force Base near Fairbanks, to Ericsson Air Station on Shemya Island. The 6 square mile island lies just 200 miles from the Russian coast. No other U.S. airfield that isn't an aircraft carrier can put fighters so close to Russia. North American Aerospace Defense Command on Wednesday posted photos of the missile-armed F-16s on Ericsson's short runway to the outer limits and back, Norad Krod, calling Shemya one of North America's most distant and strategic outposts. Shemya is located near the western end of the Aleutian Island chain, 1, 250 miles from Anchorage. During the Cold War fighters from Elmendorf, F-102s then F-4s and, later, F-15s, leapfrogged across three main forward operating bases at Galena, King Salmon, and Ericsson, 